MMA under uh, Victor uh, Victor Torres. Yep. So I uh, look to have uh, some pretty good jiu-jitsu on that side of the, uh, the ring. Also a military uh, vet. Uh, three years uh, working in military combatants. Uh, a tough girl. I actually spoke with one of the training partners, Zach Vatracek, earlier, and he said, uh, "Yeah, Crystal is mean. She's tough. She's technical. Uh, she's a handful." She also has bigger legs than I do. This is sad. He's start looking at more squats. Squats, man. I thought sitting down to poop was enough. Squats. This is going to be uh, interesting. Two are uh, very, very respectable in uh, schools. Oh, uh, yeah. Very solid gyms. Uh, you know, definitely strong, strong gyms. And I can guarantee you, these guys are not going to look like they are 2-1 and one and 0-0 oh oh at all. We got Miranda Deering coming out of uh, Scorpion Fighting System. As you guys just mentioned, a very well-rounded gym. Uh, out there the likes of James Gray, so as you mentioned, Miranda's jiu-jitsu is sure to be solid. Yeah, well, and then, and then her training prim primary training partner is probably ABC, which means that you probably get a dose of everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very excited to hear Kaylee Cutler today won at 115 against somebody that I guess they were having an eye on for you know uh, uh, the UFC and this is going to put her on the map and she is a beast. Yeah, she's a monster. Uh, I mean, I remember the first time I saw her, I was like, wow, who is this? Uh, very impressive. Well, and we saw her molesting people at 135. Imagine her at 115. That's crazy. Yeah, scary. I mean. She is gonna light the world on fire. Is it molesting? Is it molesting? I know she's. It's an accurate description. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't know we could say stuff like that, but I'm in. I'm in. Professional mixed martial arts, 
I'm looking to see some high levels uh, in this fight. But then again, you know, a lot of times you got two guys, two uh, women, you guys, you want to say, uh, with very good ground games. You, I think you see a lot of uh, stand up. You know, you got two uh, very, very good yeah. ground people, you see a lot of, you know, more stand up anyway. All right, here we go. Very good listening by um, yeah immediate switch. We get a body shot. We get a body shot. Bates. You put your weight on. She you keep it there. Perfect, Crystal. Perfect. Crystal's definitely looking for a hip throw type of thing, but uh, there's a leg reap available if she just turns. We tell she's very very strong. Yeah, she, you can tell. Very nice. This is why you don't want to grab around that head and, and, and go for that hip toss. It's 99% of the time, unless you're Ronda Rousey, it's going to yeah. put you on, on your own back. And you can hear Victor's telling her not to do it the entire time. Very good strategic fight so far. Yeah, a ton of energy being expended by both of these ladies. Yeah, this takes a lot of gas. All these reversals and scrambling and positioning is exhausting. She wants to go back to that again, and it, this time she has a better position with her arm, but I still don't like it. Yeah, it's tough. I um, mean, it, it's a high risk, high reward type of thing. Modified tight cleanse here for Miranda. She's working, working, working on that, and that's uh. And she's in a you know, perfect position for corner wise, and she's right in front of her trainer, you know. Yeah. The very knowledgeable Victor Torres. Oh, nice big knee. Yeah, it definitely is. She should commit to facing a little bit more rather than doing this hip turn that she's doing. Nice knee to the midsection, you can hear it right here, right in front of the yeah, Nice thud. Very nice knee again. Ooh, those were pointy knees. They were really vicious. She looking for that modified tight clinch again, and, and she could, she could. I just don't know if she's strong enough. You can tell Crystal is very, very physically strong. Yeah, I, I agree, Harley. I don't really like that, uh, that angle that she's basically no, giving she her back. Uh, yeah. Beautiful knee. Oh, that was on the liver. Wow! Big first round for Crystal Bates. Wow. Some vicious knees. This crowd place. got on its feet. Yeah, yeah, a lot of support uh, in the crowd right now for both of these ladies. Yeah. I, I can see why, man. This is exciting. Whoa! Yeah, the clear up on aisle one. I've had yeah. a point taken away from me in the fight this week. This will... Much trouble. Not, not this way. Why do we got this little moment? I just talk about how uh, much women's MMA has evolved. Oh, for sure. In Michigan, and not only in Michigan, but as a whole. You know, but more importantly, Michigan MMA, you know, we are, uh, at first, there's none. Now that we are, you know, there's, you know, uh, James Gray has a great stable of uh, female fighters over there. So, I mean, uh, I think that's uh, important. I think for a lot of women who are, you know, they're drawn to the sport, but, you know, it's, it's hard being a woman coming into a gym being the only woman. And, like, if you have a stable of women that are already established, you know, if I'm a young lady, that's probably where I want to go. And then, you know, this, this is sad to see because... She caught Miranda with that, that uh, knee to the body at the end of that yeah. round that really hurt her. Now this is more time to recover. Yeah. Now, now, now that knee's irrelevant now. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm not irrelevant. 
it's money in the bank, but it's not as relevant as it would have been. I mean, like a minute ago, opposed because she's probably still feeling it. Oh, I'm sure. Those body shots, man. They, they linger for a minute. And yeah, recovery time. Those knees were with a point in the patella of the knee, which is devastating. Big shot from Miranda. I think she needs to bend on that headlock, you know, and start uh, jacking yeah. it up. Getting uh, Miranda on her tippy toes and then go for the throw. It's a real bad habit of hers, and, and it, she might not cost her today, but it will in the future. Another knee. Yeah. Doing a real good job of getting small separation and throwing. She drives the hoops right to the knee. Very nice. Good yeah. technique on the knees, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's just smothering Miranda against the cage, and then... I can't see no more, guys. See it. Uh, now we're back. Yeah. <laughs> you have to trust us at this point. <laughs> so, back, back to back to knees line. Another big knee. Yeah. This is, like... There's a backdoor option right here for Miranda, and she's not taking it. But, but you should easily be able to pull out that back end here when you're leaning over that heavy. For some of that, you know, you can tell Crystal is strong. So. Oh, yeah, she's very powerful. But me, me with Ooh, my... Another big knee. Oh, another one, yeah. Grinding down Miranda with these knees. Oh. Miranda's showing great grit, man. Wow. Oh, yeah. Victor is sweating harder than Crystal. Yeah, those knees are just finding the homes. Yeah, they're, they're overwhelming Miranda right now. Oh, yeah, you do it. against the cage, just brutal knees. Miranda with her own. This pressure from Crystal is just relentless. I think the best part for Miranda, you know, with uh, Crystal throwing that hip and is doing more of like the Mu Muay Thai swing, you know, take yeah. it out and swing it in. Because, you know, she doesn't have much separation here. This is a game of positioning here. Push your head! Push your head! Push your head! Nice little ankle pick attempt from Miranda. Yeah, she needs to put a little bit more. Uh, Can you imagine how interesting this fight would be if some elbows involved? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy that there's not, though. These girls got to go to work on Monday, and they're not getting paid to be here. More needs from the tie clips. Miranda just can't get any separation. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Crystal's relentless. Who's our uh, female 135 pound champion? Does anybody know? Wasn't it Kelly? Or Kelly 125? Sure. We, have an, we have an instant challenger, that's for sure. Oh, oh she put herself right in there. He's to fight those hands. Short time. Short time, I will TP. Too good. <laughs> Another big round for Crystal Bates. Yeah. Well, my fans, we got ourselves a war on our hands here. No ice pack this time for Victor. He lost his ice privileges. <laughs> If you're James Gray, what do you tell Miranda? I mean, two straight rounds are being smothered. Uh, obviously, she has to catch her coming in, and she has to keep her movement up. She's trying to plant and throw, she has to move and throw. And then the next thing is, when you lock up, change levels, and drop down and get that takedown. Because that's how she got there the last time. Obviously, she had her head caught, but she got the takedown. There is still hope. Might, might not be a lot, but there's hope. Yeah, she's going to need a finish, but uh, she's been working with James. I'm pretty confident she has it in the arsenal to pull something out. Yeah, she has not looked like she wanted to get out of there at all. I just, this is one of them things that I always say, moving backwards and working angles is such a hard thing to do. Uh, but when you can do it, it makes you very difficult to fight. Oh yeah, it's much easier to fight a person standing right in front of you. Yeah. I'm not sure you guys covered this, but uh, one of the set that Moran needs to finish. Yeah, oh, for sure. I don't know if you guys covered that or not. I dropped away from the mic for a second, but... They are going at it. Moran wants no part of that clinch. None no, of it. But That's she's, smart. <laughs> she's trying to Frankenstein it off. She should have been punching that whole time. Uppercut. Walking Instead of going back, slipping out. 
she's got to give her angles instead of her going straight back. We got some tape by uh, Miranda's like, her. okay. She knows she's got to finish it. She got to pick that shot and go, yeah, swing away. Well, she needs to look for uppercuts because she's coming in all every time. She should be throwing twos and fours. Double jab uppercut. Yeah, yeah. This is bad too. A lot of times when I'm fighting somebody, you know, I know they're gonna be shooting. I'll throw that double, that double jab, and I throw the uppercut. I'll throw it yep. potentially at their body. I'll yep. get down and get in there because even if they change levels with me, I'll, 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 I'll catch a chin on it every yep. time. Yep. And then I come back to the left hook. Yep. And then I go home. Get you in there. Definitely good stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, becoming more and more desperate times for Miranda. Yeah, I know. The longer this goes, I mean, the more desperate she's gonna have to just, you know, pull something out of her bag of tricks. Um, but, you know, Crystal Bates in her debut, this beautiful ability to smother her opponent. <laughs> Miranda fires back with her own knee, digging right into the midsection of Crystal. Yeah, you can see she has a lot of desperation, and she still want to be here. She wants to win this fight. Oh, she should have stayed low. She should have stayed low. She changed levels. Yeah, she came back up again. Oh, there it is. Good takedown for Miranda. I, I don't think a takedown's gonna. She's gotta finish this fight. She has a very, oh, very yeah. short amount of time to do this. Yeah, she's gotta go straight for. She's gotta go for broke. We gotta be more than halfway through this round. There's no points that can save her this fight. She might be 10 8 uh, even on some of those first two rounds. Well, you don't find those very often. You know, I mean, I can see what you, you, you think. You know, it would be a 10 8, but I don't think the domination was completely there. You no, know, maybe, maybe not. But I'm saying. For sure, you lost the first two. Oh, without a doubt, oh, you have to two. finish. I, I, no I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even win for that takedown. I would have been trying to swing away, finish it with punches, because this girl's too strong to be trying to submit right now. But I've seen crazy things happen. Wow. She just relentless with her pressure, man. Very impressive. And great cardio to, you know, something we haven't mentioned, but both these girls have been going at an extremely high pace for these three straight rounds, you know, hats off to them, they're in great shape as well. Yeah, there's most of the guys on the car tonight could not have done this. That Let's get up this That's our first standing ovation tonight. Yeah, both those girls fought their hearts out, man. Uh, hats off to them. That was an entertaining bout. It's nice to see uh, the WXC ladies uh, put it down like that. Absolutely. Yeah, they earned it.
this year. If you really want to say anything, I know you got people in the house. Hell of a fight. Could be fight of the night. Please, start with you. Who do you have to thank you this evening? A referee for WXC, but somebody who has been a lifelong health and huge supporter of the brand. Please tell us about your brand. Tell us what we got going on for Michigan Top Team and upcoming fight in the UFC, Darren Sir. And hey, thanks guys for coming to the show. It's, it's been great. Uh, you know, no fights in the crowd. That's good. Uh, I want to get to get across. I just fought in the UFC, uh, say a month ago in Las Vegas against KJ News. I got poked in the eye twice. And uh, I had to have surgery the next day, just uh, to let everybody know my eye's fine, I can see, uh, vision. so, you know, thank God for that. I'm already fighting again, March 14th, in Dallas, Texas, UFC 158, uh, against a guy named Del Rouge, a uh, Brazilian black belt. He's, I want to say he's undefeated in the UFC, I think he's only got four fights in the UFC, he's 9-1 and one as a professional. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to be going down to Dallas, Texas, representing Detroit, Michigan, and everybody here. So, wish me good luck, and uh, thanks for all the support.